I, I've never seen a bad Bath team. You know, the three, the three games we played them so far, we beat them 2 0 each time, funnily enough, but they always look organised. And I'm surprised to see them so low on the table. As Simpson swings a nasty cross in, maybe does well to stretch and punch it to the edge of the area. Tolly thumps it up, Rexham left two men up. Cislevich on the halfway line, pokes it in nicely. Tolly now, Spate's going ahead of him. Can Tolly deliver? He's forced wide, rather, feeds it down the flank. Now Spate's up against the last defender, backing into him. Right side of the box, he turns in beautifully, but good cover turns up, and it's slashed clear in the end. And Zrexham goal, actually, only as far as Ashton, left hand side, he's got bodies in the area. Swings it and hits the first defender, who heads it clear. Harris, though, can put it back in, 35 yards out. Rolls it into Keats, who pops it back to Harris. He rolls it across then to Crichton. And Crichton's going to stand it up is he well, he's got a ball down the line Obeng now Cheeswich stays deep Obeng pokes the edge here Spate back to goal turns lovely return by Obeng round the back of the fence can he finish yes he can it is Obeng's first goal of the season and well frankly the first goal of his game he's meant the previous one he scored as a fluke last year against Tamworth that one he meant it lovely play by Spate and Obeng's been threatening to do that for weeks Alex and he's he's hit the best that's a fantastic goal I've seen him do it many a time a few times he's frightened him to make him get up he did it last week against Catherine, but it almost came off. This time it's paid off. He's persistent. He's come round the state. Probably gave him a little bit of a shout. Let him know where he is. The pass perfectly timed. And, I mean, he, he, he took that with a plum like a, like a striker. Tremendous finish, wasn't it, that? Fantastic. They, a bit like the situation they worked when he had the penalty shots against Brighton, wasn't it, as well? The, and like you said, the catching game too. He's been threatening to do that. He's coming inside more. And that was uh, beautifully worked. And now we've got a very different sort of game. And Al's got underneath it and heads it clear. And now it's picked up in midfield by Russell. Quality play. Turns nicely. Feeds in Stonehouse on the left. Swings it in. And Miebi under his bars to tip it over. It was an attempted cross. But Miebi made the good decision to pl flick it over his bar. Because if he tried to hold that, he could have dropped into the net, couldn't he? Absolutely. It, was, uh, it would have been a total fluke. But Stonehouse would have taken it. She's a bit beaten in the air to the goal kick. Oban checks out to find a bit of space and works it back to Crichton. And Crichton under pressure, he's given it away to the area. It's a real chance for Bath now. As Wrexham closed ranks and tried to pressure, but there's a shot by Connolly. I mean, Amy does well to sprawl to his left and save it. It's scrambled out the edge of the box where Tolly lunges in and commits a foul in the D. That was a reckless tackle by Tolly. Well, that was, well, that's had a real escape there, didn't they? I'm not sure what Crichton's seeing there. Mm. It was a crazy just gave it straight to the keeper Watkins the, the sub Watkins who should have laid it off I think early and, and put somebody oh, yeah, in I, I, he, had, he had time to do something maybe he had too much time couldn't yeah. make his mind up quick enough in the end he, he did hesitate a bit but Bath have managed to draw the foul from Tolly yeah. a bit of a reckless challenge it was I, wild wasn't it I think I think they were Wrexham was stretched and Tolly's just lunged in yeah but it it is, it is, it is a dangerous free kick to give away. It's right on the edge of the D, just right of centre. Wrexham with a big wall here, yeah? five men in it. As it's lifted over the wall, easy save for Mayabes. Wrexham have it back. Chiswich pops it off nicely to Harris, forwards to Morale early. Chiswich is going over the top, Morale left it over the top, great ball. Chiswich's pace gets him there, only Spates in the middle, draws in towards him and Spates, six yards out, great save by Garner. Fantastic save from Garner. Beautiful ever so ball. well. Beautiful ball from Andy Morrell. Perfectly weighted. Kizovic is always beating almost anyone for pace in this league. We don't, we don't always see the delivery from Kizovic, but that was a fantastic cross. State just unlucky. It was a good save from Ghana. Yeah, it was close in, but Ghana made himself big. And like you say, the end product was there. Here comes the corner. Ghana takes it well. And now he's looking for the quick throw, which he's used well. And he's set up a two on two break here. As he hurls it out to the halfway line, the players burst into the middle, it's fed in towards Watkins, Miebi's coming out of the box, and he's beaten to it, Watkins is round Miebi, and shoots, and Harris blocks it on the line, great work by Harris, and so nearly an equaliser, what a break that was. Right, now Percival may have lost his man on the far post, it's floated in towards him, and the keeper comes, is headed out of his hands by a defender, tries to nod it in the goal mouth, Spate six yards out, can he bring it down, it's blocked, and smashed away. Ashton, good sprint by him to beat Watkins to it and feed a clever ball down line to Keats on the left side. He takes on his man. Does he go down and get a free kick? Yes, he does. You don't need much contact on the man to get a free kick off this ref, I would say, because Keats maybe was pulled down, but he... Uh, borderline there, I think. I'm not sure about that one either, to be honest. Keats made sure he won it, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. And there's a free kick about 10 yards out from the goal line. 
left hand side and Tolly can rip this into the goal mouth Crichton lurks on the edge of the six yard box so does Mike Percival he's shown decent poaching instincts when he's gone to those positions lately Tolly rips it to the far post oh across the face Crichton the whistle away from getting a touch of his head Mike Percival unmarked beyond him lunged in and couldn't quite touch it great delivery but just a tiny bit too much on it Last questions, Bath, as they kick off towards the cop. So Wrexham get to kick towards the Eric Roberts. I always wonder the benefits of which way you kick. You know, Wrexham sort of traditionally still seem to kick towards the cop in the second half. But there's no one in it anymore, and <laughs> maybe getting towards the Eric Roberts might just uh, drive them on. As Ashton has it now and drives it forward, right footed inaccurately. But Tolly will get to a loose touch and knock it long. Morel can't win it, and it drops loose. It's attacked well by Harris, who wins it. Ends the area, drives a shot just wide. Well, Harris has, has been a real dynamo, hasn't he? But that was a good effort, that wasn't he? We struck it well. Saw the sort of break in the field, drove forward. He had it, had momentum with him and used that momentum to get the shot away. It just wasn't accurate enough. Within the first 40 seconds of the half, Jay Harris trying to impose himself once more and he has been very, very energetic. I was saying the possibility of excellent players looked a bit jaded after that Brighton Cup tie or Harris looks full of beans. Long goal kick, and Harris is up and winning that header as well. It'll go out for a through to Bath, 15 yards short the halfway line, taken quickly by Galliner, who gets it back and hits it forwards right footed. Crichton clumps it forwards, and Harris brings it down beautifully. Hooks onto the hole cleverly as well. Tolly over the top, space running at the keeper. He's brought down. Must be a penalty. Yeah, yes, yes. is it a red card as well? It was a good ball over the top. A great play by Harris first, then Tolly. He's got a decision to make here. Mm. It was a goal scoring opportunity. I mean, the question is whether he was had it under control. Spate picked the ball up straight away, by the way, to take the penalty. Not Dean Keats. Exactly. <laughs> and there's no Matthias Pogba to snatch it out of his hands. But it was a lunging tackle from behind on Spate. It was more clumsy than anything else, but it was a foul, undoubtedly. The referee looks like he's keeping his cards in his pocket. That's however lucky he escaped that, yeah. I think, for Priest. But Spate will take the penalty, he spotted it up. Walks back to the edge of his D. Long run up. <laughs> Spate runs up. Right footed. Good penalty. 2 0 up Wrexham. They missed the last two, but Spate makes no mistake. Side footed it neatly inside the right post. Halfway up. Garner couldn't get there. And Wrexham have got that breathing space now. Absolutely, yeah. That's what you want against the uh, long the Yeah, two runners, and you just wonder whether you're best there with the back, the three defenders to step up. Yeah, play I'm off. Say step up, yeah. The ball's floated in, and it's dropped into the goal mouth. It's, it's a bit of a scramble, two yards out. Foot comes in with Crichton, and Morel hooks it clear, but that was virtually under the crossbar. That as now Chislovich has it, he's got a runner inside him. He feeds Harris in beautifully. Two on two break now. Spate makes Dagger run across him. Tolly's running completely unmarked, but Spate's run into his path, and Harris lifted through Spate in the chase. Garner just beats him to it. Spate there. If he kept running diagonally, Harris would have been able to put Tolly in clear. But he doubled back on himself and he, he, because he stumbled. And as a result, Harris couldn't play a clean through ball. Now here's Bath. It's a heck of an end-to-end -end game. There's now Conley on the back of the fence again. Crichton blocks his cross, but Conley will get another goal. He feeds it back. Cross is swept into the far post, but Yabi takes that comfortably. This is a crazy open game, this now, isn't it? It has. It's opened up a lot uh, since the interval. The Yabi has slowed it down a bit throws it out now it's a terrible throw he was oh, looking to far. find Ashton he's throwing straight to Simpson on the halfway line Ashton has to scurry back into position as Simpson feeds it in around the back of the fence once more Phillips swings it across with Yabe oh fantastic uh, improvisation so he say he tried to catch it one handed and sort of clawed it into his other hand and then looked nonchalantly as if he meant to do that all along yeah. he didn't did he let's be honest of course he didn't throw and taken and comes off Spate's head does well Mike Purcell to volley it clear off balance is put back in again Mike Purcell under pressure from Phillips who's bearing down on him Mike Purcell turns away from him cleverly I think first got first wanted to run it behind for the goal kick realised he didn't have the time 
Phillips got too close to him and he used that to touch to know that he could roll him. Oh, Space, lovely ball to the overlapping. Ashton pokes it to Morales. Four on two break here. Morales left side of the box. Three men in the middle. Clips is inside. Headed by Ashton. Goes well wise. If he'd left it, I think Harris would have scored. He was unmarked. Eight yards out. I think, I think it's Morales played it on the floor. I don't think he needed to go in the air there. Morales played it on the floor. If he played it inside, then there's... Even if they inside, there's two more men over on the right. Yeah. It was good football to get in that position. Fantastic football, but the decision making there, you know, a bit of experience from morale, but he's gone for the wrong decision there, in my opinion. Second half. Wrexham lead 2 0. We're nearly halfway through the second half now as Miebi plants a long one. Morale can't get it all. Picked up well by Hunstow, who pokes up nicely. Tolly will blast this. Great save by Garner. That was going for the top left corner. But Garner did what Brentford's keeper couldn't and Lincoln's keeper couldn't and <laughs> to, uh, just managed acrobatically to tip it over the bar. A terrific a strike. The fantastic save because that was absolutely top end from Tolly. He struck that as well as any of the goals he's smashed in this season. <laughs> absolutely. Back to Keats, quick ball out to the right, that's a clever ball. Obeng's got space, right hand side, 30 yards out. He's running to Gallagher. Bath have doubled up on him now, and Obeng's very isolated. He turns and looking for help, there isn't any. He finds it in Morrell in the end, and Morrell feeds a clever ball down the right channel. Tolly feeds it across the face, and Garner does well to catch an awkwardly skipping ball and grab it as it skidded across the face of goal. Good break that by Wrexham. And Wrexham are going to give J uh, young Jay Cole back a run out again. There he is, super sub. Yeah. Well, we know what he did to catching last time. Absolutely. Let's see if he can repeat it. Fantastic young player. Yeah. Promising talent. So, no one seems to know who's coming off. It's Keats coming off, and uh, I'll tell you what, he deserves a good ovation, Keats. He's played well today, and after those two penalties, you know, I think, yeah, he's getting real warm from the Wrexham fans, showing their appreciation of him. But the chanting for him as well, you know. It, it has been a blow to him to miss those two penalties. He's a proud man, Keats, and it's good, I think, to give the fans an opportunity to show what they think of him. Yeah, I mean, all the great players miss penalties. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those things, and no, no one will know that they've missed the penalty more than Dean Keats himself. He doesn't need people to tell him how vital the two penalties were. So I think to put in a fantastic performance today, it's just sort of... As Tolly flicks it over his man and goes bursting in the box. He's got a two-on-one break. He tries to squeeze the space, but off balance, he couldn't quite find him. And maybe clips a nice little ball to Ashton. It's a lovely ball. Ashton in a bit of space on the halfway line. Inside to Colbeck now in a bit of hole in the hole. Out to Hunt. Ashton's accelerating outside Hunt. He oh. plays it back towards Colbeck. Has oh. carried through to Spate. He turns. Will he hit it? No, he plays it into Obeng. Oh. And a great tackle denies Obeng. That's a fantastic great challenge, that is. Ashton definitely was trying... Uh, the initial ball by Hunt wasn't aimed at Spate, but it no. carried through to him. And I think Spate might have been passing to Morale, but Obeng nearly got onto it.